Hello and welcome, in this video I am introducing Screen Recorder from PassFab. Quick notes about the program. PassFab's screen recorder can be used for business, for example creating and sharing business videos to your partners or employees and to help them with their training by using combination of various highlighting tools, which can also be used for educational videos like making YouTube tutorials, which will be great for me as some of the features that it has are extremely unique and I have not seen them on other programs I have reviewed. Also you can record your gameplay as it has the dedicated button for that too. I would call this not screen, but all recorder. Taking a look at the website, we can see the preview of the program and scrolling down, we can also see video previews of each feature or functionalities. You can scroll through these videos and see how each feature operates. What I particularly like about the website is if you scroll down, you actually have a nice comparison of free versus paid versions and you have comparison of what features you get and what you don't. Scrolling down, you have a quick three step to recording your screen, which is click the record, select the area after recording, trim the video, save it and you are pretty much done. But I will show you this in the video. Also at the end there is FAQ page so feel free to look through it. The website itself is very presentable and you can easily find out about the program, features it offers and how to use them. So thumbs up for that. It's time to download the program so I'm going to click on the free trial and then let's install the program after the installation is finished. Note, the internet connection is needed to install the program. After you open up the program for the first time, you are greeted with instructional screen and little animation. To register the program, click these three lines, go to register and then input your email as well as registration code. Then click register to activate the program. Now let's take a look at the program and features it offers. Couple of more interesting options from the three lines are ability to change the language and also button to explore more guides if you need guidance to use the program, but I will show you that in the video. In the bottom right corner there is an arrow which you can click which opens up a bunch of settings. You can change output folder for videos and also snapshots. General button has the hardware acceleration button which you should enable for smoother recording. Frame rate goes up to 60 FPS and frame size goes up to 1440p. Output formats are MP4 and MKV. And you also have a button to switch graphics cards, which if you do have multiple graphics cards as many people do nowadays, this button will come in handy. Effects, you can actually turn on the mouse cursor, change the highlighting color, which you can see the preview, and also you can show the keystrokes on the screen itself, which I will show you how that looks like right now. Next, you can create tasks, like for example scheduling recording, also automatically stopping the recording. Under devices you can choose your webcam, microphone and speakers, as you can see for me that is done automatically. And also you have couple of hotkeys, you can also turn them on or off. Let us close the settings. You'll also notice three buttons which act as a quick access to features we have previously seen. So capturing mouse, capturing the keystrokes and also creating tasks. You have three options for recording, screen, record your game and also record your webcam. Let's choose record screen. Screen goes dim and now I can move my mouse and select specific area of the screen or entire monitor which is signified by the dots in the corners and the screen also gets highlighted. So I'm just gonna click on the desktop itself and the whole screen is selected. The panel opens up in the upper right corner. We can record, capture a snapshot, picture-in-picture -picture option and also drawing option. There is a button to disable speaker, preview the recording area and also disable microphone. As I'm talking, above the microphone you can see the meter which signifies that microphone is working. Let's click on drawing option. New panel pops up. 
If I click on the pen, I can draw, I can also change the size and the color of the pen. I can undo or just clear the entire screen from drawings. I have highlighting option, which works as a highlighting for books, which looks perfect, I love it. And also there is an arrow option to use it, for example, to point to something. And obviously cursor option is just cursor, no drawing there. Next we have picture in picture, which if you do have a webcam, you can pair the webcam with these options to put it in any section of your screen that you want. I can click this button to take a snapshot. And finally, we have a recording button. If I click on it, I can record my screen. While the recording is happening, I am free to draw whatever I want on the screen and use it to point viewers and their attention to anything on the screen that I want. I can also pause the recording, resume it, as well as just stop the recording. Recording stops and I am greeted with trim window which allows me to trim the video by using yellow highlighting markers. So I simply move them left or right depending on how much I want to trim. I can also type in the value. If I look under the video, I can see how much of the video I am trimming and the duration of the trimmed video. When I'm done, I can click the trim button and save the video. If you would like to see how recordings look like, skip to the sample section of this video. Let's do a quick game recording test. I'll be using game <laughs> solitaire for the purpose of this video. I can click record game, select a game window, in this case solitaire. You can also choose it as an application and if it shows up in the preview window, that means it's working. After that, just click record. I've shown you the program and things I like about it, but what are the things that I don't like? Well, after you finish the recording and the trim window opens up, anything that was there will stay on top of the trim window. It will not move out of the way so you can trim your recording. There is this little quick section, these three buttons to quickly access certain features. Well, one of the buttons that I would like to see is the button to access the video recordings folder. Instead, it's hidden. You have to open up the settings first and then look down here and here is the button to open up the folder. The keystroke feature is phenomenal, but what it doesn't show is if you press left or right control button or for example, left or right shift buttons. Finally, this program can show you the keystrokes. It can highlight the cursor, but it cannot display what button on the mouse has been pressed. In my opinion, there should be a highlighting option for the mouse clicks. So this is a recording test with a screen recorder. I'm just gonna draw on the screen a little bit and we can test it out really quick. So here I am playing my copy of Metal Slug on uh, PlayStation 1 using a RetroArch emulator with Beetle PCX and uh, it was just perfectly able to select it, no issues whatsoever. I feel no lag and uh, you can judge the results yourself. I am using three times upscaled mode by the way. So the image is way bigger and it seems to be doing just fine. There's no question about it. This program was well thought through as there are no bugs whatsoever. Only minor inconveniences which I'm sure will be solved soon. Design is simple, sleek and it has just enough amount of features. It has no unnecessary features that you would not use. Every feature is in my honest opinion spot on. This has been my showcase and review of PassFab Screen Recorder. Consider liking and commenting on the video, as well as subscribing for more content. Thanks for watching.